Information technology is a business function associated with the information resource. It manages the computer technology used by the business, such as computer hardware, software, database, and telecommunication channels. Several activities are being done by the information technology, namely database administration, data processing, system development and maintenance. Let's have an overview of these activities starting with the database administration. Database administration involves a task ensuring the availability of the database as needed. The database serves as the physical storage of data where information is generated to serve the information needs of users. Other tasks closely related to the database administration are controlling access to the database, give support services to users, handle procedures for backup and recovery of data, secure data integrity, control data security, and set data privacy. The data processing is the manipulation of data by a computer. It includes the transformation of data from its raw form into computer-readable form, the flow of data from the CPU and computer memory to output devices such as printers and computer monitors, and formatting of the output. System development is the process of defining, designing, testing, and implementing a new software application or program. It can include the in-house development of systems, the creation of database systems, or the acquisition of third-party software. On the other hand, system maintenance is the modification of a system or changes of a system to correct faults, to improve performance, or to adapt the system to a changing environment or change requirements. System maintenance is an ongoing activity. Its purpose is to sustain the capability of a system to provide continuous support or services to users. ID activities that were previously mentioned can be organized in a number of different ways. The two common structures to organize these activities are the Centralized Data Processing Approach, or CDP, and the Distributed Data Processing Approach, or DDP. Let us examine the difference between the two structures starting with the Centralized Data Processing Approach. The Centralized Data Processing Approach means all data processing is performed by one or more large computers located at a central site that serve users throughout the organization. In this approach, the ID activities are consolidated and managed as a shared organization resource. To better understand this approach, Assume the marketing department wants a report showing monthly sales per product. The marketing department requests that information from the ID department. When the accounting department needs a report of account balances of ledger accounts, they also have to request it from the ID department. After the production department finished a batch of finished products, 
they submit a report to the ID department. The ID department pulls into the system the information about the finished products. Distributed data processing involves reorganizing the ID function into small information processing units or IPUs. The IPUs are distributed to end users and placed under their control. This IPU, such as computers and software, may be distributed according to business function, geographic location, or both. To better understand this approach, assume the marketing department needs a report about monthly sales. They can directly get the information by accessing their own computer system to generate that report. The accounting department can also get a report showing the account balances of ledger accounts by logging in into their own computer system. The production department can log into their computer system and enter the data about the finished products. Now you have an understanding of the ID activities and the two structures to organize these activities. Click the video on the left screen for the next lesson.